Colin here with the international LGBT news headlines from Pink 60. A young person has been brutally murdered in South Africa's wine region in an increasing campaign of anti-LGBT violence. Tamara van der Meerve was raped and stabbed before being strangled to death and dumped in a field last week. Rainbow wreaths were laid across Australia yesterday to remember queer servicemen and women at the country's Anzac Day Memorial. The annual event honours the heroes of Australian and New Zealand military campaigns. During South Korea's fourth presidential debate yesterday, all nominees except one said they opposed LGBT rights, believing gay men to be behind the spread of HIV. Only Sim sang Young said she supported equality for LGBT people. Residents of British Columbia will have the largest ever choice of LGBT candidates at regional elections in two weeks. Twelve openly LGBT people are running for legislature, up from nine in 2013, when four were finally elected. And finally, cult movie director John Waters is to host an adult summer camp weekend at Club Getaway in Connecticut in September. The already sold out event allows grown ups to relive the halcyon days of their past with a trashy adult twist. Well, that's all from us for today. Join us again tomorrow for more of the latest LGBT news headlines. And you can find out more about these and other news stories by searching for hashtag Pink60 on social media.